And here we go, the much anticipated game. Week number two of the 2013 season, the Menor High Cardinals versus the St. Ignatius Wildcats on a picturesque night here at the JTO Jerome T. Osborne Stadium. A matchup of two powerhouse programs, a matchup of two legendary coaches, Steve Trevisano in his 17th year coaching the Menor Cardinal team. And for St. Ignatius, Chuck Kyle in his 31st season coaching his alma mater, St. Ignatius. Sellout crowd here at the JTO, anticipating another exciting game. Mentor one game, game one versus Erie powerhouse McDowell. The Trojans came out to a quick early lead last week, but Mentor rallied and ended up winning the game with the score of 44 to 30. The Wildcats of St. Ignatius in game number one ended up losing to Brother Rice, a Michigan powerhouse, as they played out of state. They uh, put forth a, a valiant effort at the end of the game and nearly came up with the victory, but a number of key injuries that the Wildcats suffered in the offseason ended up having the team fall short and losing that game 29-20. to But this still is a matchup of two of the top teams in the Northeastern Ohio area. And here we go as we prepare for the kickoff. The matchup of the Cardinals versus the Wildcats. These two teams met twice last year in the 2012 season. The Wildcats coming up victorious in the regular season game. And as we all know, in the thrilling triple overtime victory for the Cardinals in the playoffs last year, Menor came up triumphant over St. Ignatius. I'm sure we're in for another fantastic matchup between these two top-ranked teams in the state. Teams are getting set to line up for the kickoff here. The Wildcats are preparing to receive the kickoff. Number 39 for the Menor Cardinals, Mike Music, getting set to prepare for kickoff here. Lining up at the 40-yard line. Mike Music had a nice game last week. And the Cardinal faithful getting loud and prepared for the game here. Again, a near sellout, if not a sellout crowd here at Jerome T. Osborne Stadium. Highly anticipated game as you drove up to the JTO today. Fans lined up outside at 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, tailgating on this beautiful afternoon. And the Cardinals break. Mike Music prepares. Number 39 getting set to kick off. And the crowd gets ready with anticipation. Here we go. Mike Music with the kickoff. Downfield to the Wildcats. We're going to run it out of the end zone. And it's a touchback. It was a touchback. Number 22 for the Wild Wildcats. David Boylan, 5'6", 192, senior. John Thomas, number four for the Wildcats. The starting quarterback at his first start of the season last week as they played once again out of state in Detroit. The uh, plant starter quarterback going into the season, Peter Mahoney, ended up suffering a season-ending injury in the offseason. And the Cardinals prepare. John Thomas, number four, gets the snap, hands off, straight up the middle. About five yards for the running back. It's going to be second and five for the Wildcats. Good crowd on both sides of the stadium here as the Wildcat faithful came out to support their team. And as we know, the men are faithful, come out in full force to support the Cardinals, especially for the game of this magnitude. And here they go, second and five for the Wildcats. Shotgun formation, gives it to his running back, who gets a couple yards straight ahead. It's gonna be a third, third down and short for the Wildcats. Third down and short. Cardinals led on defense by a couple of their standouts. Number 22, Von Maddox. Number 52, Ken Berger. Both seniors. Third and short for the Wildcats as they prepare. John Thomas ready for the snap in a shotgun position. John Thomas gets the ball, hands off. Couple yards up the middle, and it's gonna be close. The Cardinals stopped them for a gain of a yard or two. It's gonna be close. Looks like they're going to be giving them the first down yardage for the Wildcats. First and ten for the Wildcats. 
Again, exciting matchup between these two teams. And again, who can forget the two veteran, longtime, legendary coaches of these two programs. Steve Trivisano in his 17th year of the Cardinals. And a coach Chuck Kyle, 31st year for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. John Thomas looking deep. Overthrown pass, incomplete. It's going to bring up the second and ten for the Wildcats. Good defensive coverage by the Cardinals. Cardinals last week ended up having some difficulties with their, their opponent, Erie McDowell. The Trojans gained 336 yards on the ground. Pretty much a one-sided rushing attack as they only attempted seven passes and ended up 12 yards for the Erie Trojans last, last week. Cardinals handoff and stuffed by a host of Cardinal defenders for a loss. What a play on defense for the Cardinals. It's going to bring up a third down and long for the Wildcats. It's going to be a big play in the early going in this game. Ten minutes remaining in the first quarter. 0-0, the Wildcats and the Cardinals on the first drive of the game. In the shotgun position, quarterback John Thomas prepares for the snap. He gets it, he's looking downfield. Doesn't have any receivers, he's gonna run for it. He's sacked, taken down by Cardinal defenders. Gonna force a fourth down. Nice play by the Cardinals. Staying at home and preparing for the quarterback. Nice defensive coverage by the secondary. John Thomas had no one to throw to, and he had to run, and they stopped him. Cardinal, Cardinals preparing for the kick. Number five for the Wildcats, <clears throat> Matt Colella preparing to kick. Almost mishandled the snap of the punt. It's going to go to the 30, to the 25, 24 on the Cardinal side of the field. Took a Wildcats bounce after the punter nearly lost it. Cardinals preparing to come on the field for a first and 10. A little over nine minutes remaining in the first quarter. 0-0 game. First possession of the game for the Mentor Cardinals. 1-0 on this young season. The Cardinals heading out onto the field. Number five, Connor Krasanzik is back in the shotgun. He's going to be starting the game off at that position. Three receivers up to the top side, one on the near side. Connor Krasanzik gets a snap. Oh, and he's taken down for a loss at the Cardinals' 10-yard line. Krasanzik didn't have anyone to throw to. He's looking to have the option to run or pass. And he was met by a number of Wildcats defenders who took him down at the 10-yard line. It's going to present a second and long for the Cardinals. Cardinals setting up in the shotgun. Fakes the handoff. Going to get quarterback keeper up the middle for no yards. It's going to bring up a third and long for the Cardinals and a couple quick stops by the Wildcats. Connor Krasanzik preparing for the third down, setting up in the shotgun. On the near side, Brandon Fritz, number one. They have five receivers spread out. Connor Krasanzik looking down the middle. He's got a receiver, 20 yard line to the 23 yard line. It's going to be short of the first down. It's going to bring up a fourth down. Here comes number 39, Mike Music, coming out to prepare for the punt on a quick possession by the Cardinals. The Wildcats lining up to receive the kick near the 35 yard line. And the Cardinals prepare to defend the Wildcats here. The ball's going to be at the 36 yard line after the punt by Mike Music. Seven and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. Score 0 0. No score on the board yet. One possession already for each team. 
as quarterback John Thomas, number four for the Wildcats, behind center, preparing for the snap. Two receivers to the top, one on the bottom, hands off to his running back, up to the 40-yard line. About four or five yards on the run. Number 32, Michael Vitale, the six-foot senior, 190 pounds for the Wildcats on the run. Bring up a second down and six. Just shy of seven, a little over seven minutes remaining in the first quarter. John Thomas is going to be in the shotgun on this second down. Second down and four. Gets the ball, throws it to his outback. He's got some running room to midfield for the first down for the Wildcats. Little hitch pass out to his running back for John Thomas. Moving straight ahead to get the first down. 6.50 remaining in the first quarter. Right at midfield. John Thomas hands off to his running back who looks to gain almost five yards on the run. The Wildcats are led by Senior John Thomas, a quarterback, also standout wide receiver on offense. Number 11, Michael Saragusa had himself a big game last week. Six foot three, 200 pounds, senior for the Wildcats. Flags on the field. Look like there may have been some motion on the offense. We'll see what the referee has to say. All sides on the defense. Five yard penalty for the defense. They're going to push that ball back close to the Cardinals' 40 yard line. Six minutes, 22 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Highly anticipated rematch after that overtime thriller, triple overtime thriller in the playoffs last year between these two teams, the St. Ignatius Wildcats, Menor Cardinals, and this heavyweight battle. Second down is short. John Thomas behind center, preparing for the snap. Face the handoff. He's on the run, looking downfield. He's got a receiver, but Nicely defended by the Cardinals. Nice stop on defense by the secondary of the Cardinals. Wildcats were taking a shot on second down and short, looking downfield, going for a quick score, and stopped nicely by the Cardinals defenders. Cardinals secondary has really been playing well in this young season. Going to bring up a third down for the Wildcats. John Thomas has the ball. He's going to hand off to his running back, and he's stopped. And it's going to be close to a first down. Stopped on a short game by the Cardinals, but they do have a first down for the Wildcats. Wildcats on the move. The men are 40 yard line. Five minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Wildcats line up in a shotgun. Quarterback number four, John Thomas. He's got three receivers. Two on the near side, one on the top side. Two running backs. He hands off to his running back, and he's got some running room. 35 to the 30. Breaks a tackle to the 25 to the 20, and they can't stop him. Inside the 15 to almost the 10-yard line. On a nice run by number 32, Mike Vitale. Senior running back for the Wildcats on a big game. And once again, the Cardinals having trouble defending that rush. The Erie McDowell Trojans last week racking up 336 yards on the ground, and they had no answer for the rushing attack. But they're going to be walking it back after a penalty. Cardinals catching a break after that long run by the Wildcats. Coming up on five minutes remaining in the first quarter. San Ignatius Wildcats lining up in the shotgun this time. Two running backs, one to the side, one behind the quarterback, John Thomas. Two receivers to the top, one on the near side. He has the ball, looking to his running back. Little flare out to the side for a couple yards, breaking tackles up to the 35, inside to the 34 yard line on the Cardinals side of the field. Call it a five yard gain. Inside five minutes remaining in the first quarter. Score is 0 0. These two juggernauts facing each other. No score at this point. Second drive of the game for the Wildcats. Cardinals came up short. Three downs and out on their first drive. 
Wildcats hand off to the running back. It's stopped nicely by the Cardinals on the short gain. Brought down by number 33, Keith McCormick. He's a senior defensive back, six foot, 180 pounds on a nice stop by the Menor Cardinals. Brings up a third down. Third down and short, four minutes remaining in the first quarter. It's gonna be a big play for the Cardinals to stop the Wildcats here. John Thomas lining up in the shotgun for the Wildcats. Has a running back to the left of him. Four receivers spread out, gets the ball, looking to the right. And nicely defended by the Cardinals, breaking up the pass. Number 13, Todd Green, the senior linebacker for the Cardinals on the stop, brings up a fourth down. So here comes the kicking team coming out for the Wildcats. We'll see what they're going to do. Three minutes, 49 seconds remaining in the first quarter. The Wildcats are going to attempt to kick. It's going to be a long kick coming up for the Wildcats here. Looking at a 50-yard field goal kick. Number five, Matt Colella, ready to kick for the Wildcats. Holder at the 40-yard line. Mike Macalella, it's up. It's gonna be short. Miss kick. And it's gonna turn over to the Cardinals. And the Cardinals, 343 remaining in the first quarter. Cardinals getting set for their second drive of the game after a nice defensive stop after a couple positive plays by the Wildcats. They were moving in, in towards the red zone and stopped by the Cardinals defense. Really helped by that one penalty after that long run by number 32, Mike Vitale. That was pushed back. That was really a key in that last possession. Cardinals lining up at their 20 yard line. Connor Krasanzik back in the familiar shotgun position. Again, he's got the running back to his right, and he's got three receivers, two on the near side, one on the top side, as he prepares for first and 10. And the snap, and he hands off, and he's moving forward a little bit. Number 44, Alex Matthews, the sophomore running back for the Cardinals, gaining a couple yards, bringing it to second down. Second down and long for the Cardinals. Connor Krasanzik back in the shotgun. Running back to his right, three receivers on the top side, one on the bottom, and he hands off. Number 40, Eddie Doherty, getting some yards, looked like he was stopped, broke free. But he's brought down just past the 25 yard line, gonna bring up a third down. Three minutes remaining in the first quarter. It's going to be a third down and short. We'll call it third down and four for the Cardinals as Connor Krasanzik lining up again in the quarterback position as he's done the entire game so far. Last week we saw a rotation between him and Matt Eisworth, but Connor Krasanzik in the shotgun back for the snap. He's on the move looking downfield, but he may keep this himself just shy of the 30-yard line, just shy of the first down. They may have to move the chains to see if they made the first down but I believe they're going to be just shy and here comes number 39 Mike Music preparing to punt on the second drive of the game the Cardinals again coming up short two minutes remaining in the first quarter Mike Music preparing to punt and here he goes Mike Music with the kick the high kick Calls for the fair catch on the 36-yard line for the Wildcats. At number six, Owen Manning on the on the catch to the punt. And we prepare to first and 10 for the Wildcats. 0-0 zero, zero score here at JTO, Jerome T. Osborne Stadium. Game number two of this 2013 season. The 1-0 Menor Cardinals facing the 0-1 St. Ignatius Wildcats. Still two of the top teams in Northeastern Ohio here with a long history. Two games against each other last year, one going to each of the teams, regular season victory for the Wildcats and the playoff decisive victory in triple overtime. The thriller won by the Cardinals as we prepare for first and 10. John Thomas hands off to his running back, number 21, Enzo Canada, taken down for a short game. Nice play on defense by the Cardinals. It's going to bring a second down and long for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Coming up on a minute 44 remaining in the first quarter. 
Good to see the stop on the rushing play by the Menor Cardinals. John Thomas for the Wildcats lining up in the shotgun. Two receivers to the top, one on the bottom, one back. Thomas looking to pass, looking downfield. He's got a receiver. Oh, and he tipped it, almost picked. There was a defensive back for the Cardinals right in that general area. Lucky play for the Wildcats that that wasn't intercepted on the incompletion. Bringing up a third and long for the Wildcats. Once again, bringing a big play here. Third and 11, a minute 23 remaining in the first quarter. John Thomas in the shotgun. He's got three receivers on his left side, one on the top side, running back in the back. He's looking downfield. He's got a receiver in the middle for a big play, number 11. He's got running room, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown Wildcats, Mike Saragusa, the senior wide receiver, the standout receiver for the Wildcats with the touchdown on that play. 114 remaining in the first quarter, and the Wildcats with the touchdown, taking the sixth to zip lead over your mentor, Cardinals. Mike Saragusa getting that reception wide open in the middle of the field. Running through a series of Cardinal defenders on his scamper into the end zone for the touchdown for the Wildcats. Cardinals li lining up to defend the extra point attempt by the Wildcats. Number five, Matt Colella prepares the senior kicker for the Wildcats, looking to make the extra point. 114 in the first quarter. And he almost fumbled the snap. And he's going to run. The holder's going to have to run, and the Cardinals stop him. So that's going to leave the score. Six points for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Zero for the Menor Cardinals. As the Cardinals are going to bring out their special teams, prepare to return the kickoff here. A little bit over one minute remaining in the first quarter. Once again, the Cardinals are going to have to come back if they want to win after going down early in last week's game versus the McDowell Trojans. They ended up going down 16 to zip last week before they roared back into the game for the exciting, decisive 44 to 30 victory over the Trojans out of Erie, PA. They're gonna have to come back again this week. Six to zero. The Wildcats over the Cardinals at this point. Got two Cardinals preparing to return the kick. Number 40, Eddie Doherty's back there. And I believe that's number 15, Brendan Parker. Preparing to receive the kick from number five of the Wildcats, Matt Colella. Set the kick off from the 40 yard line on the Wildcats side of the field. Once again, before this sellout crowd, big crowd on both sides of the field here as the St. Ignatius contingents out in full force. They travel to the Menor Stadium here, JTO, and obviously the Cardinal fans out. And here we go. And they're running it out, the 20, just past the 20 yard line on the run back. Number 15, Brendan Parker to the junior wide receiver on the return. Him and number 40, Eddie Doherty were back to, re to receive that kickoff. Number 15 on, on the return. 107 to play in the first quarter. Cardinals looking to start out at their 16-yard line. The 16-yard line. Connor Krasanzik back at quarterback, lining up in the shotgun position. Alex Matthews lining up to his right. Three receivers on the near side, one on the top side. First down for the Cardinals. The snap. Connor Krasanzik looks to run it. And the Wildcats key on it for a loss. Push back. The Wildcats seemed to read that play all along. Connor Krasanzik was going to keep that on the quarterback, keep straight up the middle for a loss of yard. It's going to be second down and long. 45 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Connor Krasanzik in a shotgun position. Two receivers on the near side, two on the top side. Connor Krasanzik rolling out to his right. Looking downfield, he's got a receiver at the 30-yard line. Nice catch. Number 11, Kyle Tankovich, the junior wide receiver on the snag. Nice catch. 30 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Cardinals with the first down. 
First and ten, Connor Krasanzik in the shotgun position. Rolling to the left, looking downfield. He may run the ball, and he's got some running room. There he goes, the 40, the 45, the 50. Nice block, the 40, the 30, 20, 15, 10. And it's upside for the Cardinals just before the end of the first quarter. Eight seconds remaining. Ties the game at six on the long run for Connor Krasanzik. What a play. He had a nice block. Fits it a run. He had a wide open field. All he needed was the one block to set him free. He really showed his speed on that run. Mike Music preparing to make the extra point. Here we go. And the Cardinals faithful on their feet after that long run by Connor Krasanzik. Mike Music preparing to make the extra point. And they fumbled a snap. And Mike Music's going to have to go ahead and... Oh! Down the ball. Close to fumbling that. So it leaves us with a tie score. Eight seconds remaining in the first quarter. Six to six on a thrilling run. Connor Krasanzik as they show the replay on the scoreboard. Connor rolled to his left. Looked downfield, decided to commit to the run, and what a run it was as he scampered down the field, showing his speed. Oh, what a block he got around midfield to spring straight through 10-5, and he rolled into the end zone for the touchdown. 6-6 six to six is the score as these two juggernaut teams in the Cleveland area, the Wildcats of St. Ignatius and your Cardinals of Menor, all tied up. Couple seconds remaining in the first quarter. Mike Music, the senior kicker, coming out to the 40 yard line on the Cardinal side of the field, getting ready to kick off after the thrilling long touchdown run by Connor Krasanzik. One of the speediest players on the Cardinals team and really showing what he could do as he rolled to the left, looking downfield, didn't have a receiver, made the quick, quick decision to run the ball. What a decision it was. And that really got this Cardinal crowd going. Two Wildcat receivers lined up just in front of the end zone. Mike Music ready to kick off. And here we go. Mike Music on the kick. Nice kick, just in front of the end zone. We're gonna have a run back for the Wildcats to the 15, to the 20. It looks like he's gonna be down at the 20 yard line. David Boylan, number 22, ran the ball out for some positive yards for the Wildcats. Two seconds remaining in the first quarter. Two seconds remaining in the first quarter as the Wildcats prepare to come out for a first and 10. As the Cardinals rush back into the game to tie the score six to six. And we're going to end the first quarter, it appears, the same way we started the game, with the game all even and tied between these two teams. John Thomas, the quarterback for the Wildcats, number four, lines up in a shotgun position. Two receivers to the top, one on the downside, two running backs, and he fakes the handoff, looking downfield, and he's got a receiver past midfield, close to the 40-yard line, as that receive, receiver was wide open there. Nick Fabian, the senior wide receiver, 6'3", 180 for the Wildcats on a nice catch as he was wide open. And that's going to bring the end to the first quarter with the game tied 6-6 six six between the Wildcats and the Cardinals. And here we go, first and 10 for the Wildcats. They're going to be on the Cardinals' side of the field, 41-yard line. John Thomas behind center, two running backs behind him. And he's going to hand off to his running back. Number 32, Mike Vitale, the senior running back, Mike Vitale on a couple yards on a nice stop by the Menor Cardinals. Going to bring up a second down and long. Nico Lautner on the stop for the Menor Cardinals, number 54. He's a junior defense alignment for the Cardinals. Had a nice game himself in the first week against the McDowell Trojans as well. Second down and long, John Thomas in the shotgun position. Two receivers on the near side, one on the top side. Two running backs as John Thomas is looking down the field. Look down the middle, it's going to be incomplete. Tightly defended by the Cardinals, and there's a flag on the field. Last week was marred by a huge amount of flags in the game with the Cardinals and the Trojans. See what the officials call on the play here. 
It's going to be on the defense. Penalty on the defense. They're going to push the closer towards the Cardinals end zone on that side of the field. First quarter fairly balanced. 43 rushing yards for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. 103 passing yards for a total of 142 yards for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. The Menor Cardinals had 80 yards on the ground, 27 passing yards for 92 yards in that first quarter. Once again, we're tied 6 to 6. Handoff on the first down. John Thomas handed off for a strong run by the Wildcats. Appears to a run for a first down on the first down. Number 32, Mike Vitale on the run for the Wildcats. As the Wildcats are on the move, Cardinals going to have to tighten up here in the red zone here. As the Wildcats will call it the 15 yard line on the Mentor side of the field. John Thomas lines up behind center, two running backs behind him, two receivers on the one side, one receiver on the top side. The snap, and he's going to hand it off. Miscommunication there, handed it off to number 32, Mike Vitale, who ends up recovering and getting six to possibly seven yards. Going to bring up a second down for the Wildcats as they inch closer to the end zone. Cardinals going to have to really tighten up to really use the crowd support here as they look to tighten up, looking for a goal line stand as the Wildcats are just inside the five yard line. John Thomas behind center and a familiar set, two running backs behind him. One receiver split up on each side. John Thomas getting ready, gets a snap, hands it to his running back, Mike Vitale, and he's getting close inside the five yard line. Gonna bring up a second down for the Wildcats. 10 minutes, 30 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Your score is six points for the Wildcats, six points for the Meta Cardinals. Second down, John Thomas. Taking inventory here before the snap. Same set as the last play, two running backs behind him, one split out to each side. John Thomas gets the snap. Fakes the run, looking to the end zone, and he overthrows his receiver on the far right side of the end zone. Gonna bring up a third down for the Wildcats. Big play coming up here. Be a nice stop if we could hold the Wildcats here on third down. Third down and goal to goal here for the Wildcats. 10 minutes, seven seconds remaining in the half. John Thomas taking inventory here. He's got one running back behind him to the side of him. Mike Vitale, two receivers on the bottom, two on the top. Spread out here. John Thomas looking in the end zone, batted down by the Cardinals. Nice play on defense by the Cardinals. Number 22, the senior, Von Maddox. 6'2", 215, defensive end. One of the leaders on that Cardinals defense. Von Maddox with the bat down of that pass from Joe Th uh, John Thomas. What a nice play by the Cardinals. It's going to bring up a fourth down and the Cardinals in preparation to go for the field goal attempt. Score tied 6-6 six six here. Second quarter, 10 minutes remaining. What a play by Von Maddox. Big play on that third down and goal to goal for the Wildcats. Von Maddox batted the pass down. And here we go. Matt Colella looking to kick. The kick is up and it's good. Wildcats go to a 9-6 score as they again take the lead over the Menor Cardinals. But a nice defensive stand all in all by the Cardinals there to stop them on that third and short, third and goal to goal. Von Maddox coming up big, showing his senior leadership and a nice play as he batted down that pass by the Wildcats senior quarterback, John Thomas. Nine to six. Cardinals gonna have to come, come from behind once again. 10 minutes, one second remaining in the half. Sun going down here on Jerome T. Osborne Stadium. Bit of a chill in the air on this early September evening here. September the 6th, game number two of this 2013 season. Cardinals 1-0 after that victory in week number one over the Erie McDowell Trojans. Wildcats of St. Ignatius 0-1 after their loss 
in game number one as they played out of state and they took the loss to Brother Rice, a powerhouse out of Michigan. Once again, these Wildcats, one of the top ranked teams, just like men are in the state here. Minus a couple of their top players, they went into the season planning on Peter Mahoney being their quarterback, but he was out over the summer and he's gonna be out with a season ending knee injury. And the kickoff, and it's a good one for the Wildcats. Touchback for the Cardinals. It's going to bring them to the 20-yard line to start their first and 10. And here comes Connor Krasanzik. Set to lead the Menor Cardinals. Yeah, the St. Ignatius Wildcats, again, hampered by injuries. One of their top returning seniors going into the season, Kyle Berger. The linebacker who's already verbally committed to Ohio State University suffered a season-ending injury himself. So the Ignatius Wildcats had to recover going into the season here without two of their top seniors that they were planning on for the season. And here we go, first and 10 for the Mentor Cardinals. The shotgun, Kyle Krasanzik, Connor Krasanzik looking. He's got a receiver for a short gain. Brandon Fritz on the receiving, on the receiving end there. Number one for your Mentor Cardinals. Brandon Fritz last week, two touchdowns. All he does is catch touchdowns. Two receptions last week and both touchdowns for the standout receiver. Number one, Brandon Fritz. Cardinals lining up in a spread offense. Connor Krasanza gets shotgun. He's going to keep it. He's going to run with some running room. Here he goes again. Close to the 35-yard line. Nice run once again for Connor Krasanza. Making a good decision. Didn't didn't have any receivers open, so he decided to run it himself up to the 35-yard line. The fleet-footed Connor Krasanzik on a nice gain. And here we go, lining up. First and ten for your men or Cardinals. Connor Krasanzik is going to hand it off for a short gain. Number 40, Eddie Doherty, the junior running back for the Cardinals on a short gain. Nine minutes remaining in the half. Cardinals down 9-6 to six to the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Bringing up a second and long for the Mentor Cardinals. Connor Krasanzik in the shotgun position. One receiver on the downside of the field. Three on the top side. One running back to his right. Connor Krasanzik looking downfield. Oh! And just outside the reach of number 8, Corey Plavkin. The senior receiver who had a nice game last week as well. Good idea by Connor Krasanzik to look downfield on second down and long. Number eight last week, Corey Plavkin had four receptions for 64 yards and one touchdown. Having a nice game. Last week, Connor Krasanzik himself, splitting time between quarterback and wide receiver, had five receptions for 68 yards, but he's lined up behind the quarterback position every play so far this game, and he's got some running room here, close to the 45 yard line on the third down, but he's gonna be shy of that first down. Nice run by Connor Krasanzik, but it looks like he's gonna come up short, so we have decision time here for Steve Trevisano. Fourth down, and they're gonna go for it. Three receivers on the near side, one on the top side, one running back to the left to Connor in the shotgun position. Connor Krasanzik. Maybe looking to draw the defense off, off sides on that play. Calling a timeout for the Mentor Cardinals. Cardinals timeout. Eight minutes, nine seconds remaining in a half. Score nine for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Six for your Mentor Cardinals. We'll see what Coach Steve Trivisano decides to do here on the fourth down. If he's going to go for it or if he's going to bring Mike Music number 39 out here to punt to the Wildcats. Steve Trivisano in his 17th year coaching these men or Cardinals going up, going up against another veteran coach in the Cleveland area, the legendary Chuck Kyle in his 31st year coaching for his alma mater. And here comes number 39 for the men or Cardinals. Number 39, Mike Music, the senior kicker, is going to punt on fourth down for the Cardinals. One receiver back for Ignatius. Stepping back to his 20-yard line, preparing for the kick by Mike Music. A little over eight minutes remaining in a half. Mike Music, the kick and the punt. It's going to put the Wildcats down and takes the Cardinals. Bounce to the 15 inside of the 15-yard line. Call it the 13. Nice punt by Mike Music.
John Thomas for the Wildcats. Quarterback having a nice game here. Leading his team out for the first and 10. Nine to six. Scoring plays in the first quarter. One minute and 14 seconds into the game, we found John Thomas with a pass to sit Mike Saragusa for a 64 yard touchdown for the Wildcats. Benner ended up coming back with eight seconds remaining in the first quarter with Connor Krasanzik with the touchdown and going back to live action here. Wildcats on a long run up to the 40 yard line. Mike Vitale, number 32, on a long run for the Wildcats. Going back to the scoring summary, the game was tied 6-6 six six after those two scores, one by each team in the first quarter. St. Ignatius hit the early field goal in the second quarter here. As the Cardinals stuff the Wildcats and push them back to the 30-yard line on a nice defensive stop on that run by the Wildcats. Bringing it back for negative yardage is the Cardinals keyed on that run. Stopped by a host of Cardinals defenders there. It's going to be second down and long for the San Ignatius Wildcats. Seven minutes, 15 seconds remaining in the half. Quarterback John Thomas in a shotgun position for the Wildcats. Three receivers to the top of the field, one on the downside. Looking downside, he had a receiver, number three. John Hyland on the catch, the senior receiver for the Wildcats on a big gain for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. All the way down to the 38 yard line of the Menor Cardinals. Nice pass by John Thomas, the quarterback for the Wildcats. In the shotgun position again. Really doing a pretty even mix here with the shotgun and, and lining up behind center for the Wildcats quarterback and he Hands it off to Mike Vitale, number 32, for a short gain as they approach the 35-yard line for the Wildcats. Going to bring up a second down and seven. Six minutes, 34 seconds remaining in a half. A 9-6 lead for the St. Ignatius Wildcats as they're marching again here. Second down, John Thomas in the shotgun. Two running backs behind him. Three receivers as he gets the ball, looking to a short receiver for a short gain here. Coming close to the 25 yard line. Complete pass for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. That's number three again on the reception. John Highland, the senior receiver. 5'11", 180 pounds for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. First and 10 for the St. Ignatius Wildcats on a 25 yard line on the Menor side of the field. Cardinals. Really have to tighten up their defense here to stop the Wildcats who've been on a on a bit of a drive here against the Cardinals. John Thomas fakes the handoff looking downfield. He's got a receiver close to the end zone, just outside of the end zone on the slant. Number 19, Nick Fabian, the senior wide receiver for the Wildcats on the catch. He's going to bring up a first down and goal to goal for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Six minutes remaining in the game. Nine to six, Wildcats over the cards. Gonna need another goal line stand by the Cardinals here if they hope to hold the Wildcats to, to a field goal. Keep them out of the end zone. John Thomas lining up behind center. The running back, Mike, Mike, Mike Vitale, lining up behind him. Timeout by the Wildcats. Timeout, Chuck Kyle calls a timeout. Five minutes, 43 seconds remaining in the half. Nine for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Six points for your Menor Cardinals. No turnovers so far in this game. Fairly clean game. Again, going back to some of the first quarter statistics, St. Ignatius had five first downs in the first quarter compared to the Menor, who had only managed two first downs in that first quarter. Again, that first quarter highlighted for you Cardinal fans by the long 70-yard touchdown run by Connor Krasanzik, the senior quarterback on the keeper, and ended up really showing his speed as he ran into the end zone, but the Cardinals find themselves down. 
as the Wildcats of St. Ignatius had a long 64-yard touchdown in the first quarter, and they led off the second quarter here with a 21-yard field goal by Matt Colella. Brings up a first and goal to goal. John Thomas behind center this time. Mike Vitale, number 32, lines up and gets the handoff. Cardinals may have him stopped. Just shy of the end zone there for a short gain by Mike Vitale, number 32. Maybe an injury on the field here after that signal to bring the trainer out on the mentor side. Second down for the Wildcats when we return to play. Five minutes, 37 seconds remaining in the half. St. Ignatius Wildcats driving here. Hopefully the Mentor Cardinals can find another strong defensive front and stand as they did just minutes ago as they forced the Wildcats for a 21-yard field goal when it appeared that the Wildcats were driving on their way to a touchdown to begin this second quarter. Yeah, we hope the Cardinals player is doing okay. Number of trainers surrounding him right now as they tend to the injured player. St. Ignatius in the house at the JTO here playing your Mentor Cardinals, bringing out a quite a crowd tonight. Again, people lined up out barbecuing and tailgating on this beautiful end of the summer day, September the 6th here, 2013. Difficult to find a parking spot this morning on my way to the, this afternoon on my way to the JTO. People out barbecuing, students getting excited and ready. Fans, young and old, preparing for this battle between two of the top teams here. We know what kind of thrilling and exciting competition these two teams brought when they played last year. Regular season game won by the Wildcats. Cardinals in exciting, thrilling fashion. Fashion in a high scoring game in the playoffs. Ended up topping these Wildcats in a triple overtime thriller won by the Cardinals. Still facing a timeout here as we have the injured Cardinals player being intended to on the top side of the field by the men or training staff. We have not seen the sophomore quarterback, number three, Matt Eisworth, behind center at all today for the Cardinals as we did last week when he split time with Connor Krasanzik. Matt Eisworth is warming up though, throwing some passes around here on the sideline. Connor Krasanzik though has kept the Wildcats on their toes with his passing and rushing threat that he, he provides. And it looks like the injured player is up. Crowd's giving him a nice hand as he gets up. Cardinals breaking their huddle, preparing to line up for the defense as we face a second down and goal to goal for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Five minutes, 37 seconds remaining in a half. Score currently nine to six. Wildcats on top of the Cardinals. Wildcats threatening to score. Cardinals been really showing some signs here with some nice defensive plays. Let's see if they can make another defensive stop here. Von Maddox on that last defensive stand that led, that held the Wildcats to that 21 yard field goal. Third down quarterback John Thomas for the Wildcats had his pass batted down by Von Maddox, the senior linebacker on a nice read in stopping that pass. Second down, goal to goal. Crowd starting to get loud, urging on the defensive stand here for the Cardinals. Lights on here at JTO Stadium as the sun's going down. Temperature dropping a little bit. Planned to be 50 degrees overnight. Game time temperature probably in the low 70s, mid 60s, and it's getting cooler out here. As we have football weather this evening and game number two in the 2013 season. Second down and short. John Thomas behind center for the Wildcats. 
The injured player for the Cardinals walking around the back side of the end zone appears to be all right as he's walking with the training staff. And here we go. Back to play, second down. John Thomas behind center. He's got the one receiver, one running back behind him, and he hands off, and he stumbles a little bit short of the end zone. Going to bring up a th third down and short, third down and goal to goal. Running back for the Wildcats stumbled on the handoff for the Cardinals' benefit here. And here comes the crowd urging on a defensive stop once again for the Menor Cardinals as they look to tighten up on the defensive side. Big play. John Thomas for the Wildcats going to line up in a shotgun position. He's got two running backs. Two receivers split out. Takes the pass looking in the end zone. He's got a receiver and he overthrows him in the back side, right side of the end zone. Another stop here. Wildcats likely going to go for another field goal on a nice defensive play by the Menor Cardinals. John Thomas really, when he was looking downfield on that pass, didn't have a lot of directions to go with tight coverage by the Cardinals secondary. Four minutes, 55 seconds remaining in a half. Matt Colella lining up, getting ready for the field goal attempt for the Wildcats. Number five, the senior kicker for the Wildcats, 5'9", 155. It's gonna be a short field goal attempt here. Matt Colella getting ready. Flag on the play. Maybe a delay of game. Going to push the Wildcats back, make it a little bit longer attempt for Matt Colella. Delay of game is the call. Going to push the Wildcats back five yards, make it a little bit tougher field goal attempt for the Wildcats here. Four minutes, 55 seconds remaining here in the half. Nine to six, the Wildcats with the advantage over your Menor Cardinals. Overall, nice defensive stand by the Menor Cardinals here. And Matt Colella, senior kicker for the Wildcats, preparing to make this field goal here. Menor Cardinals preparing to defend it. Oh, and they blocked it! What a stop here! The blocked field goal attempt by the Menor Cardinals, and another big play by the Cardinals' defense. Four minutes, 49 seconds remaining in the half. That brought the crowd to their feet on the blocked field goal attempt. Nice play by the Cardinals. Cardinals got good penetration there on that field goal attempt, and they came up with the block. Nice play by the Cardinals. Here we go. Four minutes, 49 seconds remaining. First and 10 for the Cardinals. Connor Krasanza coming back out at quarterback. Actually, we see Matt Eisworth, number three, rolling out there. Connor Krasanzik is going to line up as a wide receiver. Matt Eisworth is going to be a shotgun for the Cardinals. Face the handoff. Look at downfield, number eight, Corey Plavkin. Just overshoots him on the pass by number three. Matt Eisworth, who's in a quarterback, the sophomore quarterback, six foot, 200 pounds, who we saw in week one, split that time with Connor Krasanzik at quarterback. Looking downfield, looking to open it up on first down. It nearly had Corey Plavkin. Second down and long for the Menor Cardinals. Flag on the play. Looks like we may have offsides on the defense. Four minutes, 44 seconds remaining in the half. And it is going to go against the Wildcats. It's going to push them close to the 15 yard line. Second down for the Cardinals. Second and five. Shotgun. Matt Eisworth still in there quarterback, and he's got his receiver. It's going to be close to the first down. I believe it may be a yard short. Connor Krasanzik on the catch on a short gain there. And they are going to call it a first down. First and ten for your Menor Cardinals. Four minutes, 28 seconds remaining in the first half. Matt Eisworth behind center in the shotgun position. Two receivers on the top side, two rece receivers lined up on the near side here. Oh, and there's pressure. Matt Eisworth ends up going down as the 
There's the Wildcats on the sack. It's going to be a second down and long for the Men of Cardinals here after that sack. Second and 15, four minutes remaining in the half for the Men of Cardinals. Matt Eisworth's going to remain in there, quarterback, in the shotgun position. Number 52, Ken Berger's coming on the field. And here we go, second down and 15 for the Mentor Cardinals. Three receivers on the near side, two on the top side as we have five receivers set. Matt Eisworth in the shotgun position, looking downfield. He's got a receiver in the middle of the field, number five, and he overshoots him. Connor Krasanzik open in the middle of the field. Matt Eisworth just overshot him. It's going to bring up a third down and 15 for the Mentor Cardinals. Three minutes, 46 seconds remaining in the first half. The score, nine points for the St. Ignatius Wildcats, six points for your Mentor Cardinals. Lining up again, three receivers on the near side, one on the top side, one running back to the left of the quarterback, Matt Eisworth in the shotgun. He had Corey Plavkin, he was looking for number eight on the near side. The crowd wants a flag. I haven't seen one thrown at this point, and they're not going to throw one. Going to bring up a fourth down and long for the Mentor Cardinals. Bringing out Mike Music, number 39 for the punt. Matt Eisworth had a couple receivers open on that drive, and he just missed them. Connor Krasanzik on a couple plays, and Corey Plavkin. Mike Music coming out for the punt. Three minutes, 43 seconds remaining in a half. Nine to six, the Wildcats over to Cardinals. St. Ignatius with the receiver back. 45 yard line on the Ignatius side of the field and it's a short punt. He caught it right at the 45 to midfield to the 45, 40, 35, 30 of the Cardinal side of the field. Brought down on a nice run by the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Austin Hankins number 16 for the Cardinals on the stop. The senior, Austin Hankins, on the stop after the long run back on the, on the punt by the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Three minutes, 32 seconds remaining in a half. Quarterback John Thomas lining up in the shotgun position. One running back behind him. Three receivers split to the top, one on the near side. First and 10 for the Wildcats. John Thomas hands off to his running back for a short gain. Nice stop by the Wild, by the uh, the Cardinals. Stopping the Wildcats, maybe a yard. Gonna bring up a second down and long. Three minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the half. Von Maddox appeared to be in there on the stop on that short run. It's gonna be a shotgun position here for John Thomas of the Wildcats. Two receivers on the near side, one on the top side. Running back sits behind him. And the snap, looking downfield, he's got a receiver wide open to the left-hand side. And that's number 11, Mike Saragusa on the catch. First down for the Wildcats. Two minutes, 52 seconds remaining in a half. Nine, nine to six lead for the Wildcats over the Cardinals. Wildcats once again on the move. First and 10, shotgun for John Thomas. Two receivers on the near side, two on the top. He's looking downfield, looking to that far right side of the end zone, and he overshoots his receiver again. He had a receiver open for a second there. Fortunately, overthrows him. It's gonna bring up a second down and long for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Two minutes, 33 seconds remaining in a half. Quarterback John Thomas had 103 yards in the first quarter for the Wildcats, and he's looking again for that right side of the end zone. Broken up by the Cardinal defender. It looked like the Wildcats may have had a touchdown there, but broken up nicely by the Cardinals on that second and long. Bring it up a third down and long as we sit on two minutes, 28 seconds remaining in a half, and the Wildcats have a player down. Number four, John Thomas, the quarterback, shaken up on the play. He had his receiver open downfield. Nice pass. Appeared to be a touchdown, but split up and broken up nicely by the Cardinals. 
on that second down and long, bringing up that third and long. Couple flags on the play. We're gonna wait and see what the officials call here. Wildcats once again driving. Looks like a hold on the Ignatius Wildcats. And gonna be a personal foul on the Cardinals as well. Two penalty flags on that play. Looks like number four, John Thomas is getting up, shaking up, but I believe he's gonna remain in the game here. Senior quarterback for the Wildcats, six foot, 185. Called into duty when Peter Mahoney, the plan starting quarterback for the Wildcats, the senior quarterback was injured before the start of the season and he'll be out for the remainder of the season. Again, the Wildcats snake bitten with a couple huge injuries before the season started, along with Peter Mahoney, the quarterback. They also had the defensive standout. Kyle Berger to stand out linebacker who's committed verbally to Ohio State University. The senior linebacker is gonna be out for the season as well. So Mahoney and Berger definitely put a damper to start the Wildcats season. And here we go, John Thomas is not gonna return. Shaken up, so they do have the backup quarterback in there. And the Cardinals stop in the backfield for a loss on the run. Number 54, Nico Lawton in the junior defensive lineman with a nice play. It's gonna bring up a second down and long for the Wildcats of Ignatius. Coming up on two minutes remaining in the half. Cardinals looking for yet again to come up with a defensive stop. And number four, John Thomas back in the game, back in the shotgun position. Looking to pass to the left-hand side. He's got a receiver in the middle of the field. Stop for a short, short game. Minute 44 remaining in a half. Going to bring up a third down. Let's see if the Cardinals could stop him again with another defensive stand here. Going to call it third down and long. Third down and 11 for the Wildcats as John Thomas lining up with a shotgun. Two receivers on the near side, two on the top side. One running back behind him. Third and long. He's going to pass. He's looking towards the center of the field. He's got a receiver. And he's got a touchdown. Number three, John Hyland for a touchdown. It's going to bring the score to 15 to 6 on the score. Senior John Thomas passing to number three, John Hyland on the reception for the score. Manor Cardinals living dangerously. Couldn't come up with a stop that time as they gave up the touchdown to the Wildcats. Matt Colella looking for the extra point here. A minute 17 remaining in the first half of the game here. And it looks like it's up. And the extra point is good. It's gonna bring the score to 16 to six as the Wildcats take a 10-point advantage over the Mentor Cardinals here. One minute 17 remaining and a half. Cardinals gonna have their hands full trying to come back on this Wildcat. St. Ignatius squad here down by 10 as we approach a little over a minute remaining and a half here. Number five, Matt Colella for the Wildcats preparing to kick off. Number 15, Brendan Parker lining up in the back along with number 40, Eddie Doherty to receive the kick. Just like the first week of the season, the Cardinals are gonna have to come back if they want to seal a victory this week. This time they're down by 10 points to the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Definitely making things interesting. Start out last week with a 16-0 advantage and they came back for the victory. Let's see if they can do it here again tonight. Eddie Doherty, it's gonna be a touchback. Eddie Doherty, the junior running back wide receiver on a touchback. One minute, 17 seconds remaining in the first half here. 
you know, last week we had the, the feeling, even though the Menor Cardinals were down 16-0 early in the game, that it was never out of their reach with this high-scoring Menor Cardinals attack. Maybe a little bit tougher this week going to go up against the St. Ignatius Wildcats to come back from a 10-point deficit. But the Cardinals, we all know, can score at will and score at any time with their quick score attack. Matt Eisworth, number three in there at shotgun. He's got a receiver of some positive yardage as he moves upfield close to the 40-yard line on a nice gain. Close to a 20-yard gain. Eddie Doherty on the catch. Short little flare, and he took it for some nice positive yardage here. One minute, nine seconds remaining in a half. First and 10 for the Cardinals, down 16 to six. The shotgun looking down, downfield. Scott number eight, Corey Plavkin at midfield. 45 to the 40 and he goes down. Nice play. There's a flag on the field. Number eight, Corey Plavkin with the nice catch and run after the catch. Up to the 40 yard line on the St. Ignatius side of the field. Let's see if it's gonna stand. And it's gonna stand as a hold on the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Nice play on the connection from Matt Eisworth downfield to Corey Plavkin. One minute remaining in the half. First and ten, Menor Cardinals. As Matt Eisworth goes to the sidelines, Connor Krasanzik is going to be behind center. The senior quarterback in the shotgun position. Three receivers on the near side, one on the top side. Krasanzik is going to run the ball for minimal yardage, maybe back to the line of scrimmage. 39 seconds remaining in a half. Cardinals call the timeout to stop the clock. 16 to six, the Wildcats over the Cardinals at this point, but the Cardinals are on the move, threatening to score and get some points on the, on the board before halftime here. It's gonna be a second down in 10 when the Cardinals come back on the field. 39 seconds remaining on the clock. Again, the Cardinals split in time at quarterback between Matt Eisworth and Connor Krasanzik. Couple nice 20 yard plays here on this drive. The short little flare pass from Matt Eisworth to Eddie Doherty that led, brought it from the 20 yard line to the 40 yard line. And then the 20 yard connection from Matt Eisworth to Corey Plavkin as he made a nice catch and a run after the catch to where we stand right now in the 40 yard line on the car on the uh, Wildcats side of the field and to bring it up a second down in long. Matt Eisworth once again coming out at the shotgun for the Menor Cardinals at the quarterback position. Connor Krasanzik lined up a receiver on the near side, two receivers on the near side, two on the top side. Matt Eisworth in the shotgun looking down field, he's got a receiver, number eight, Corey Plavkin up to the 30 yard line for the first down. 30 seconds remaining in the half. First and 10 for the Menor Cardinals. Matt Eisworth's gonna stay in there at quarterback as he lines up in a shotgun. On the near side, you got number eight, Corey Plavkin. You also have Connor Krasanzik. And he's gonna hand off some running room to 25 to the 20. Close to the 15 yard line. Nice run, a 15 yard gain on the run. Number 44, Alex Matthews, the sophomore running back for the Cardinals on the nice run. 19 seconds remain in a half. As the Cardinals on the move, clock running. Shotgun position, Matt Eisworth looking downfield. He's looking to the top side of the end zone and he overthrows his receiver, but that's gonna stop the clock. Nine seconds remain, 16 to six. The Wildcats over to Cardinals. Second down here at the 15 yard line. Couple big plays on his drive leading the Cardinals in the red zone here. Cardinals going back and forth in that quarterback position between Connor Krasanzik and Matt Eisworth. Matt Eisworth is in the shotgun position. Two receivers on the near side, three on the top side. He's looking, looking to pass it. He's looking to run it. He's gonna go out of bounds. 17 yard line, he stops the clock at four seconds remaining in the half here. Matt Eisworth wisely decided he didn't have a receiver open, so he ran it out of bounds to stop the clock to give the Cardinals some life here on third down. Four seconds remaining. 16 to six, the Wildcats and the Cardinals looking to score and improve on their six point total that they have at this point. And Mike Music's gonna come out. They're gonna possibly attempt a field goal here. Timeout on the field, timeout on the field. 
That'll give Steve Trivisano some time to think about what he wants to do, if they want to go for it or if they want to, in fact, attempt the kick. Be facing about a 34, 35 yard kick if they decide to go for the field goal here. 16 to six, the Wildcats over to Cardinals at this point, the 10 point advantage. Cardinals on the move. They've had some big plays in this drive here. Splitting time, Matt Eisworth and Connor Kritzanzik at the quarterback spot. The two-headed monster at quarterback, both doing equally well. Matt Eisworth, a little bit more of a passing threat. Connor Kritzanzik, that running and passing threat. No points in the second quarter here for the Cardinals. They did have the one score in the first quarter. The 80 or 70 yard touchdown run by Connor Krasanzik just at the end of the first quarter. Cardinals looking to score at the end of the second quarter here as we have four seconds remaining in a half. Mike Music on a 35 yard kick. Not a good kick. And the holder is going to run it to the 20 yard line. As we go into halftime, and, a pot, and no points for the Cardinals there, and a fumbled snap, and didn't even get the kickoff attempt. 16 points for the St. Ignatius Wildcats, six for the Mentor Cardinals, as we have halftime here at JTO, Jerome T. Osborne Stadium.
Sometimes when things get too crazy, fights break up. But wait until tomorrow because we're closing our show with Sir Elton John's Saturday Nights on the Right for Fighting. About to end here. We're about to start the second half of this exciting game here. Matter Cardinals on the short side of the score right now. 16 to 6 is the score. St. Ignatius Wildcats over your Matter Cardinals. Scoring summary: the first quarter, John Thomas, the quarterback for the St. Ignatius Wildcats, hooked up with Mike Saragusa for a 64-yard touchdown. The extra point was no good. Menner then at the end of the first quarter came back. Connor Krasanzik with a 70-yard touchdown run that tied the score as Mike Music missed the extra attempt. Then the next two scores were made by the Wildcats, both in the second quarter, a 21-yard field goal by Matthew Colella. And then finally with a minute 17 remaining, a 17-yard touchdown from John Thomas to Jack Highland, the senior wide receiver for the Wildcats followed by the extra point by Matthew Colella, which brings us to our score at halftime, 16 to six, as we prepare right now to begin the third quarter of play. First half statistics for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. 274 yards total, 191 yards passing, 100 yards rushing. Almost 100 yards more total than what the Menor Cardinals had. Menor only with 178 yards total. 90 yards passing, 111 yards on their rushing. Time of possession in favor of the Wildcats as well. Almost 15 minutes of possession time. 14 minutes and 53 seconds. The St. Ignatius Wildcats had the ball compared with Menor, who only had it for nine minutes and seven seconds. A couple nice defensive stands by the Menor Cardinals, or the score could have even been more of a difference than what we face now. Again, 16 for the St. Ignatius Wildcats, six points for your Menor Cardinals. Again this week, the Cardinals are gonna have to make a 
Going to have to make a comeback here if they want to get victory from the throes of defeat here. Down again. Hopefully they can come back and get another victory as they did in week number one when they were down a 16-point deficit. And they came back to end up winning the game by a two-touchdown lead, 44-30 to over the McDowell Trojans out of Erie, PA. Two formidable opponents week to week. St. Ignatius, again, one of the top teams in Northeastern Ohio, year in and year out. And again, this year, 31 years for Coach, for Coach Chuck Kyle for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Going against a veteran coach of the Metro Cardinals as well, Steve Trevisano in his 17th year. Wildcats, Matt Colella, number five, preparing to kick off from their 40-yard line. Two Cardinals back at the front of their own end zone. And here we go. Game number two of this 2013 season. The 1-0 Metro Cardinals versus the 0-1 St. Ignatius Wildcats. Packed house here at Jerome T. Osborne Stadium. Matt Colella, senior kicker, 5'8", 155, and here's the kick. It's going to be a good for a run back here to 10-yard line, the 15, the 20, and he'll go down right around the 20-yard line. The ball was loose, and it may have been recovered by St. Ignatius. We'll see who ended up with the ball. The crowd on the Ignatius side sure reacted as if they got it, but they're going to say the Cardinals the runner was down, so the Cardinals are going to retain the ball for a first and 10 here from their 20-yard line. Again, this week, just as they did last week, quarterback position being split duties between the sophomore Matt Eisworth and the senior Connor Krasanzik. Really trying to keep St. Ignatius's defense off, off base by not knowing who's going to be behind center on any given play. Matt Eisworth, number three in the shotgun position. Three receivers on the front side, one on the top side, and he hands off to number 40. And he's got a little bit of running room as he gets close to the 25-yard line, Eddie Doherty on the carry, the junior running back with some positive gains, four, possibly five yards, bringing up a second down for the Metro Cardinals. 11 and a half minutes early on here, remaining in the third quarter of the second half of the matchup of these two top teams. Matt Eisworth in the shotgun, quick flare pass. He's got his receiver close to the 25-yard line, just past the, maybe the 27. Eddie Doherty, number 40, on the catch. He's going to end up bringing a third down for the Metro Cardinals. 11 minutes remaining in the third quarter. Matt Eisworth in on all three plays here to begin the second half for the Cardinals. Carter Krasanzik out there in the receiver position. One receiver on the near side, three on the top side. And he's going to fake the handoff, and he's going to keep it. Got up to maybe the 28 yard line, and he's pushed back by a number of Wildcat defenders. I think he's going to be short of the first down. And here comes number 39, Mike Music, for the Wild for the uh, Mentor Cardinals, preparing to punt. 10 minutes, 30 seconds remaining in the third in the third quarter here. First possession of the second half, and the Mentor Cardinals come up short. Got one receiver back for the Wildcats. About a 37-yard line coming up to the 40-yard line on the Ignatius side of the field. Mike Music with the punt. Backing him up to the 35, and he fumbled it briefly, but he recovered over top nicely. Cardinals were quick to see that fumble, but they did not get a chance to pounce on it as the Ignatius receiver was able to go down and recover that brief fumble there. It's going to bring up a first and 10 for the St. Ignatius Wildcats on our own 35-yard line. 10 minutes remaining in the third quarter. Quarterback John Thomas, the senior, number four for the Wildcats, behind center. Two receivers on the near side, one on the top side. Two running backs line up behind him. And he's going to hand off to his running back, who's got some running room. Number 21 for the Wildcats, Enzo Canada. The senior running back, Enzo Canada for the Wildcats. Eight yards on the run for Enzo. It's going to bring up second down and two for the Wildcats. 
John Thomas looks to line up behind center once again. Two running backs behind him, a receiver on the near side, two on the top side. And there's movement. Looks like it may have been a false start on the offense, but we'll see what the officials call. False start on the offense. Going to back the Wildcats up five yards. It's going to bring up a second down and long now after the penalty for the Wildcats. Nine minutes, 29 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Wildcats with the ball and the lead 16 to six over your men or Cardinals. John Thomas lines up behind center, second and long. One receiver on the near side, hands the ball off and he's got some running room. Straight across the 45 to the 47 yard line for the first down. It's gonna be Enzo Canada on the run again, number 21 for the Wildcats. The senior, 5'10", 180. And they quickly get back to the line of scrimmage. John Thomas behind center. He's going to hand the ball off again. And again, they've got running room. Another big run for the Wildcats. Enzo Canada once again on the big run. He's going to bring down a second... Second down and short for the Wildcats as they cross midfield around the 45 yard line on the Cardinal side of the field. Wildcats with that 16 to six lead looking to improve upon that. And he's gonna hand off again for the first down. Eight minutes, 27 seconds remaining in the third quarter here. Cardinals again are gonna have to tighten up this defense and slow down the Wildcat offense here which has been on the move here in the third quarter. Mixing up their running backs a little bit here, the Wildcats. In the first half, we've seen a lot of action by number 32, Mike Vitale. Now we're seeing a lot of plays here by the other senior running back, Enzo Canada, number 21. First and 10 for the Wildcats. They're gonna come out here, measure it off to see if they did in fact get the first down or if it's gonna be a third and short. It's going to be close regardless. Looks like they may be just shy. Third and inches to go for the Wildcats here. Let's see if the Cardinals can make a stop. They had a couple nice defensive stands in the first half. Let's see if they can recap that again here in the third quarter. Big play here. Third down is short for the Wildcats. as the Cardinals faithful starting to get into it, urging on the defense for a stop. Third down and short. They have to play for the run on this one here. The hard snap, hard count and the snap and he hands off and they got the first down. A couple yards on the run for the Wildcats there. Gonna bring up a first and 10 for St. Ignatius here. Clock is moving, 39 yard line on the Cardinal side of the field. 8.03 remaining in the third quarter. And a short run, nice stop by the Cardinals for nearly no gain for the Wildcats. It's gonna be a second down and long, second and nine for the Wildcats here as the Cardinals converge nicely on that first, first down run. John Thomas getting to play by Coach Kyle, see what he wants him to do. He's gonna line up in a shotgun set. Two running backs by him, two receivers on the near side, one on the top side. He fakes the run, looking downfield, he's got a receiver, bumped, but that pass was out of bounds. It's gonna bring up a third down and long for the Wildcats, third and nine for St. Ignatius here on a nice coverage by the Cardinals on that pass that was overthrown by John Thomas of the Wildcats. And here comes that Metter crowd again. Hopefully gonna start getting loud to urge on that defense for a stop here. Seven minutes, 27 seconds remaining in the third quarter. John Thomas in the shotgun spot. Two receivers on the near side, two on the top side, one running back behind him and the play's whistled dead. It's gonna be a timeout. St. Ignatius Wildcats calling the timeout. Coach Kyle didn't like the look of that play calling the timeout. Seven minutes, 27 seconds remaining in the third quarter.
Steve Trivisano and the Mentor Cardinals up for a big play here. Third down and long, a key, key possession and play. They really need to stop, need to get the ball back in their hands so they can start getting some points on the board with that 10-point deficit facing them. Square in the face, 16-6, to six, they're down at this point. Living dangerously again this week, being down, hoping to come back. It's again this quick scoring mentor offense is never out of it with that spread offense. Here they go, crowd on their feet. Student section and the rest of the sellout. Mentor Cardinal faithful, getting loud here to urge on the defense for a stop on third and long. John Thomas of the Wildcats in a shotgun. He's gonna pass, he's looking downfield, he's got a receiver. Oh, and a nice break up by the Cardinals on the play. He had a receiver, but he threw into coverage and a nice stop and bat down by the Cardinals defender. Big play. It's going to force the Wildcats of Ignatius to kick it back over to the Cardinals. Number 11, Kyle Tankovich, lining back for the punt. Kyle Tankovich, the junior wide receiver, 5'10", 165 for Menor. Setting up at the 10-yard line on the Cardinals side of the field as he awaits the punt by Matt Colella for the Wildcats. Here comes the punt. And he... It's going to go out of bounds, 15-yard line there on the top side of the field. And the Cardinals coming out here for a first and 10. 16-6, to six, they face a battle to come back and overcome this 10-point deficit. 17 minutes, 15 seconds remaining in the third quarter. We'll have to wait and see who comes out to line up behind center for quarterback in the shotgun spot this time. Maybe it's the sophomore. Matt Eisworth, or it may be the senior Connor Krasanzik, and it looks like it may be Matt Eisworth who's going to be going over there. Connor Krasanzik's still on the field, but he's going to be in that split out in a wide receiver spot. Three wide receivers on the near side of the field, one on the top side, one, receive, one running back just to the left of Matt Eisworth. Eisworth's going to pass. He's got a receiver, Connor Krasanzik, down the middle, close to the 20-yard line for the short gain. About a four to five yard gain on the pass from Eisworth to Krasanzik. Seven minutes remaining in the third quarter. Cardinals second down. Two receivers on the near side, two on the top side. Eisworth's gonna pass again, looking down the field, but he's gonna run the ball himself. He's got a little running room back up to 24 yard line, it appears. Gonna bring up a third down. I stand corrected. He got the first down on the quarterback keeper as he didn't have anybody downfield to run to and made the good decision to run it on his own. Matt Eisworth with a nice call. First and 10 for your men or Cardinals. And the handoff, the running back taken down by a number of Wildcat defenders as they read that one all the way, pushing the Cardinals back. It's going to be a second down and 14 after the loss of yardage on that play. Six minutes, 11 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Cardinals. Matt Eisworth in the shotgun position. Two receivers on the top side, three on the bottom. Five wide receivers set this time. Matt Eisworth looking downfield. Oh, and he's taken down at the 10 yard line. It's going to bring up a tough first down here with a third down. And 23 to get that first down. Third and 23 for the Cardinals. Five minutes, 42 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Matt Eisworth's got his work cut out for him on his third down and long play. Number 44, Alex Matthews lining up to the side of the quarterback, number three, Matt Eisworth. Two receivers on the near side, two on the top side. Eisworth looking downfield. He's got a receiver. He's going deep. And he just overshoots him, and he had him for a second. The crowd wants a flag. I see none on the field, so it's going to bring up a fourth down for the Cardinals, and they're going to have to have number 39, Mike Music, come out here for a punt. Cardinals were not able to make out on that, on that drive. A couple tough plays. Five minutes, 20 seconds remaining, fourth and 22. As the Cardinals prepare to punt here, Mike Music, the senior kicker for the Cardinals. Ignatius set to receive at midfield. 
Any way you shake it, they're set to get good field position out of this. Here's the punt, Mike Music. Not a bad kick. Takes him to the 45 yard line. And they run it back up to just past midfield, taken down. Number 60 on the stop. There's a flag on the field, we'll wait to see what that is. Brandon Ray, number 60, the senior, senior lineman for the Cardinals. 6'1", 235 on the stop on a special teams play. We'll see what the call is. Maybe a hold, and it is. Oh, and it's gonna be a personal foul on the Cardinals. It's gonna be a horse, horse collar. So it's gonna improve upon the Wildcats position. It's gonna bring them to the 34 yard line on the Cardinals side of the field. Five minutes, nine seconds remaining in the third quarter. Mentor Cardinals down by 10 points, facing a 16 to six deficit. Again, putting themselves in a tough predicament. John Thomas looking downfield and he overthrows his receiver. That'll stop the clock for a second down and long for the Wildcats here. Defended nicely by the Cardinals. Pass was overthrown there as well. Looking at five minutes, five seconds remaining in the third quarter. Living dangerously for the Cardinals on defense. 35 yard line for the Wildcats on the Cardinals side of the field. The handoff to Enzo Canada, who gets about five yards on the run up to the 30 yard line. Gonna bring up a third and five. Cardinals are going to need another big stop here on a third down play. Four minutes, 48 seconds remaining in the third quarter. John Thomas setting up in a shotgun formation. Two receivers on the near side of the field, two on the top. He's got his running back behind him. He's looking downfield for the pass. And oh, nearly picked off by the Cardinals. Another nice stop on defense. Another big third down stop by the Cardinals. Decision time for Coach Chuck Kyle. This would be a very long field goal attempt. This is going to be a long field goal attempt for the Wildcats. 47 yard field goal attempt. Four minutes, 30 seconds remain. 47 yard field goal attempt here by the Wildcats. It's up and it's got the length and it's good on the long kick. Cardinals couldn't get that penetration like they had last time when they blocked the field goal attempt by the Ignatius Wildcats. This time on the long boot on the 47 yard field goal for the Wildcats. Matt Colella with the strong leg really did a nice job getting it through the uprights on that play, but it bumped the score up 19 to six. The Wildcats take the advantage, so they have the 13 point lead over the Mentor Cardinals. 426 again remaining in the third quarter. And going back for the Cardinals, number 15, Brendan Parker, and number 40, Eddie Doherty, set to, set to receive the kickoff by Matt Colella. Kicking off from his 40 yard line on the Ignatius side of the field. Down by two scores, the Cardinals down by 13 points. They got that quick strike offense, but they have, have yet to show it here other than Connor Krasanzik on a 70 yard touchdown run that he had at the end of the first quarter. Matt Colella, number five, preparing to kick off to the Cardinals. 426 in the third quarter. Matt Colella on the kick, and he booted this one. It's going to be a touchback for the Cardinals. Going to bring it to the 20 yard line on the Cardinals side of the field. Again, I see number three, Matt Eisworth, the quarterback, heading out on the field, as well as Connor Krasanzik. Coach Steve Trivisano has that option at all times with those two on the field and, and what he wants to do and who he wants to line up behind center to keep the Wildcats on their toes. But they need to start making some scores here if they want to get back in this game. 19 to six is the difference right now. 13 point differential. A couple minutes remaining here in the third quarter, 426. Connor Krasanzik 
Number five in the shotgun position. Four wide receivers, one running back. Krasanzik's going to keep it, and he's going to try to go up the middle, and he's stopped right back to the line of scrimmage, if that. The Wildcats read that one all the way. They seen Connor Krasanzik in the backfield, and they had a good idea on what he was doing, and they read that one for the no gain on the play. He's going to bring up a second down and 10 for the Mentor Cardinals. Matt Eisworth now going to be in shotgun in that quarterback position. Five wide receivers set here. Eisworth looking downfield. He's got a receiver or two. He's going to hold it on his own, but he's running just shy of the 30-yard line. Call it to 28. He's going to bring up a third down and short for the Mentor Cardinals. Three minutes, 43 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Going to be a third and two for your Cardinals. Matt Eisworth in the shotgun. Four receivers set. He hands it off to the running back. Who gets the first down? Doherty with the nice run. Number 40, the junior running back, Eddie Doherty. And we hear the whistles blowing. First down and 10 for your Mentor Cardinals. Injured player for the Ignatius. Cause of the whistles and their trainers come out on the field to address the injury. Three minutes, 29 seconds remaining. 19 to six, Wildcats over the Cardinals. First down and 10. Cardinals will be setting up from their own 33 yard line when we return to action here. Again, just one score by the Cardinals this evening for the account for their six points. 70 yard scamper. Connor Krasanzik in an exciting run just before the time expired in the first quarter. But Ignatius has just been a real load to handle here with John Thomas at the quarterback position. Led off the game with the first score, passing to Mike Saragusa for a 64 yard touchdown. They did not get that extra point. That allowed Menner to tie it up on Connor Krasanzik's 70 yard run that I just spoke of. Second quarter found Ignatius with the 20 yard 21 yard field goal and then also with one minute 17 seconds remaining in that first half John Thomas had a pass to his senior receiver Jack Highland for a 17 yard score that time the extra point was good and now here in the second half the third quarter Ignatius up 19 to 6 they had a 47 yard long field goal kick that was good by Matt Colella the injured player for the Wildcats Appears to be okay as his trainers walk him to the sideline. 3.29 in the third quarter. Men are on the move at their own 33-yard line. Again, the two-headed monster, Matt Eisworth and Connor Krasanza get the QB spot. The sophomore and the senior. Keeping the cats off balance. Right now, lining up in the shotgun set. Two receivers on the near side, two on the top side, one running back. And it's going to be a quick flare to the running back. Nice catch, and he's got a little bit of room, and he's up to the 40-yard line to the 42, breaking some tackles. Almost looked like that pass was overthrown. He juggled it at first, but he came up with a catch, and for a nice gain for Eddie Doherty, number 40 on the play. Three minutes, five seconds remaining in the third quarter. Cardinals on the move, getting close to midfield at the 40-yard line. Shotgun set. Here the Cardinals go, and it goes to the running back, and he's running. Cross midfield, the 45, the 40, the 35, to the 30, to the 28-yard line. The Cardinals on the big run. 2.46 remaining in the third quarter on the big run by the Cardinals. Bring it up to the 30-yard line on the Ignatius side of the field. Call it to 28. Here we go. The Cardinals on the move. Here's that quick scoring offensive potential that I spoke of. Shotgun position looking down the field. He's got a receiver. Nice catch at the 24-yard line. Number five, Connor Krasanzik. He started a QB, playing a little bit of wide out, and he made that nice grab on the sideline at the 25-yard line for the Cardinals. Going to bring up a second down and short, second and four. Two minutes, 15 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Cardinals on the move, nearing that red zone. Matt Eisworth in the shotgun, and he's taken down by the Wildcats. Wildcats got good penetration in the backfield, and they took down the quarterback, the sophomore. Matt Eisworth goes down at the 32-yard line, backing up the Cardinals. 
turn in that short down situation for the first into a third and 12. A minute 47 remaining in the third quarter to score 19 for the visiting St. Ignatius Wildcats. Six points for the home Menor Cardinals. Lining up in the shotgun set, third down and long. Need to get to the 19 yard line for a first down. Eisworth looking down the field, he's got a receiver. Nice catch. About the 21 yard line. Flag on the field, we'll see what that's all about. A couple yards shy of the first down. I'd have to think Coach Steve Trivisano is gonna be prone to go for it here on fourth down. Holding on the offense, they're gonna walk it on back. Holding on to Cardinals. Steve Trivisano, I don't believe in full agreement with that call as he's out on the field talking to the official as the Cardinals backing up to the 45, 43 yard line on the Ignatius side of the field. Gonna bring up a third down and 24 as we reach a minute 20 remaining in the third quarter. Third down and very long as Eisworth lining up in the shotgun set, looking down the field, he's got pressure. And he's taken down, 47 yard line, taken down by a couple card, uh, Wildcat defenders. St. Ignatius getting in there, causing penetration, causing pressure, getting past that Menor offensive line and taking down the QB. It's gonna bring up a fourth down set, Mike Music to punt. Cardinals hoping to pin the Wildcats back close to their end zone. It's a game of field position here. 40 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Cardinals gonna have to make some move in the fourth quarter with some points if they want to take this game. Good kick by Music. Taking a Cardinals bounce to five. He, ooh, and into the end zone. Had the opportunity to stop that just shy of the end zone, but failed to catch up to that ball as it just burst into the end zone for a touchback for the Wildcats. 27 seconds remaining in the third quarter, 19 to six. The Cats over the cards as John Thomas and the St. Ignatius Wildcats come on the field here at their own 20 yard line. John Thomas lining up behind center, two running backs behind him, a receiver on the near side of the field, two on the top side, he hands off. And it looked like he was down, but he's breaking some tacklers to the 40 yard line. 21, Enzo Canada, the senior running back who's coming on strong here in the second half for the Wildcats. Looked like the Cardinals may have got him down for a short game, but he broke through a couple of tackles and really shot through for a long gain and a first down for the Wildcats. 40 yard line of the Ignatius Wildcats side of the field, 14, 10. Coach Kyle may be letting the clock run on down to get to the fourth quarter at this point. Five seconds remaining in the third quarter and that's what he's doing. We're gonna be going into the fourth quarter with the score, 19 points for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Six, the score for your Menor Cardinals. And we look to begin the fourth quarter here. The Wildcats lining up at a first and 10 from their own 40 yard line. John Thomas hands off to his running back. Enzo Canada about five yards to the 45 yard line on the Wildcats side of the field. Enzo Canada again coming on strong in the second half. First half, number 32, Mike Vitale was the running option. And now in his second half here, Enzo Canada really taking it to the Cardinals with his running. It's going to be second and five from the 45 yard line. John Thomas lines up behind center. Two receivers on the near side, one on the top side. He's going to hand off to his running back. Coach Kyle looking to run some clock and he's got some room. Enzo Canada to the Cardinals side of the field. Long gain to the 35 yard line on the Cardinals side. Cardinals have not had much of an answer for number 21 Enzo Canada since he's coming to play here. 11-20 remaining in the game. Going to be a first and 10 for the St. Ignatius Wildcats from the 34 yard line on the Cardinals side of the field. Quarterback John Thomas lining up behind center. Two receivers on the top, one on the near side, two running backs behind him. He's going to hand off once again and Cardinals stop him after a couple yards. About a four yard gain brought down by a couple Cardinal defenders. 10 minutes, 55 seconds remaining in the game. Second down, second down and four, we'll call it for the, car, for the 
Wildcats out of St. Ignatius. John Thomas lining up behind center. They've been doing nothing but running the ball here recently, and they run it again. And the Cardinals key on them, and they stop them short, I believe, with the first down. St. Ignatius with 17 first downs to this point in the game. So 11 for your men or Cardinals. Ignatius, 100 more yards to this point than what the Cardinals have. Ignatius with 330 yards, Mentor with 230. A big third down play. And the Cardinals with a nice stop on this third and short. Once again, a nice defensive play by the Cardinals. 9.59 remaining in the game. It's going to bring up a fourth and two for the Wildcats. Decision time for Coach Chuck Kyle of the Wildcats. See what he wants to do here. But again, a nice stop by the Mentor Cardinals as they keyed on that run and they brought him down short of that first down. 156 yards on the ground for St. Ignatius through three quarters. Ignatius is going to go for it on fourth and short. John Thomas behind center. Two running backs and they hand it off to Enzo Canada. And he appears to have the first down. First down for the Wildcats. No answer for Enzo Canada. He's been running rough shot over the Cardinals defense at this point. Cheering on the wrong side of the stadium here is the Wildcats. Acknowledge that first down by their St. Ignatius football team here is first and 10. John Thomas lining up his troops. 9.22 remaining in the game. 19-6, to six, the Cats over the cards. John Thomas has a receiver for a short gain to the 15-yard line. Pass is complete. To number 27. Wildcats on the move once again. Second down situation. Cardinals are going to definitely have to tighten up this defense for another stop. Turnover would be nice as well. 15-yard line on the Cardinal side of the field. John Thomas for the Ignatius Wildcats. Getting set for this second down. Doing nothing but running. Enzo Canada once again. Cardinals stop him for a short gain. It's going to bring up third and short for the Wildcats. Enzo Canada really coming on strong second half here. 8.35. 8.35 remaining in the game here. Third and three, we'll call it for the Ignatius Wildcats. Cardinals once again in the spot where they need a stop. John Thomas behind center. He's got two running backs behind him. He hands off the ball, and the Cardinals stuff him for a drop and a loss. No gain. It's going to bring up another fourth down for the Wildcats. I would have to think that Chuck Kyle is going to bring on his kicking team at this point, a little bit more manageable spot for a field goal. We know their kicker, Matt Colella, has got a heck of a leg. He's already got two field goals on today, a 21-yard field goal and a 47-yard field goal. So at this point, we're looking at about a 29-yard field goal. 7.42 remaining in the game. It's up, and he's got more than enough distance. Field goal for the Wildcats. 22-6 to six is what the score ends up increasing to with 7.35 remaining in the game. 22-6, to six, Cats over the cards. And the cards are really going to need a score on the next few possessions here if they want to get back in the game with the clock running down the way it is. St. Ignatius Wildcats took quite a bit of time off the, off the clock in that last drive with all those rushing attempts that they had done. And to my surprise here, there was a penalty on the field. Taking the, taking the points off the, off the board here. Roughing the kicker against the Cardinals that took that field goal, the three points off the board, and it's going to give the Wildcats out of St. Ignatius the first and goal to goal from the nine yard line. John Thomas hands off the ball to Enzo Canada, and they key on him, and they bring him back to the 15 yard line, and flags come flying on the field. Seven and a half minutes remaining in the game. 
Coach Chuck Kyle taking those three points off the score, bringing the score back down to 19 to six, but it gave the card, it gave the Wildcats life again with the first down was the decision there. A couple penalties back to back on some plays here. It's going to be a holding call against the Wildcats. It's going to push St. Ignatius back a little bit farther yet. Still first down. John Thomas this time sets up in a shotgun formation. One receiver on the near side. And he was looking to his receiver on the top side and defended nicely by the Cardinals defenders there. Incomplete pass on the attempt. 7-12 remaining on the game. Second down. Second and 20 for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. A lot of penalties making some impact here in these last few plays. Taking those three points off the board was Chuck Kyle. They had the three-point field goal conversion, but the penalty, they took the points off the board and elected to get the ball back. Second down and long, looking deep in the end zone. He's got a receiver, but he overshoots him in the center of the end zone. Going to bring up a third down and 20 for Ignatius. Seven minutes, eight seconds remaining in the game. Ignatius really holding the time of possession here in the second half. Keeping the ball out of Menner's hands. Menner's defense has to be tired, but they're holding strong with making some big plays here. This is another huge play for the defense. Third down and long. John Thomas in the shotgun set. Looking downfield. Throws in the center of the field. He's got a receiver. There's a flag on the field. I believe he caught the ball at the 10-yard line. We'll see what the penalty flag is going to be for. Seven minutes, three seconds remaining in the game. Flag on the field. Looks like it may be against St. Ignatius again. Going to back them, back them up. Coach Steve Trevisano is going to decline that penalty and is going to force the Wildcats to kick. Here comes Matt Colella back out on the field. Colella again with the two field goals on the night, 21 yards, 47 yards, but Menner has blocked the field goal as well, so Menner hoping to get some movement and get through there to get their hands on that ball and possibly block the kick again. Let's see. Seven minutes, three seconds remaining in the game. Matt Colella. Oh, and they had some movement in there. They almost got in there, but the kick off to the side. It's a no good. No good on the field goal attempt by Matt Colella. And the Cardinals getting a little bit of life here. 19 to 6. Coach Kyle may not have been a good decision as you look in hindsight, taking those points off the board. Cardinals right now still within two scores and coming back with a 19 to 6 deficit. 6.58 remaining in the game as the Cardinals take the field. Hopefully we're set for an exciting finish here at the JTO. The capacity crowd is ready to get back into this game. The Cardinals need to have something go on this drive here as they line up. Shotgun set, two receivers on the near side, two on the top side. Matt Eisworth back up to the line of scrimmage. He had no receivers to pass to and got stuck in a standstill and brought down by the Wildcats. Second down and long. 6.38 remaining in the game. Matt Eisworth stands alone in the shotgun formation. Five receivers set as he looks downfield. Quick throw over to number five, Connor Krasanzik, out of bounds near the 30 yard line. It's going to be third down and about three for the Cardinals. 6.26 remaining in the game. Looks like Matt Eisworth's still going to stay back there in that quarterback position. Lining up in a shotgun, four receiver set. Dealing with a lot of pressure by the Wildcats. Throws it to number five, Connor Krasanzik. Incomplete pass. First, it looked like it may have been a catch, but they're ruling it incomplete on the play. 6.20 to remain in the game. It's going to be a fourth down, and Menner's going to have to go for it. 
down two scores with a little over six for minutes remaining in the game. They're going to have to go for it here. Matt Eisworth dealing with a lot of pressure by this cart by this Wildcat defense of St. Ignatius. Four receivers set from the shotgun. He's got a receiver and he overthrows him. He missed it. Going to turn the ball over on downs to the Wildcats. Good field position again for the Wildcats on a just couldn't make it happen on that drive. 6-16 remaining in the game. Game number two for both of these teams. Ignatius with a loss in game number one. Cardinals with a win. Wildcats with a 13-point advantage at this point, though, as they line up from the 28-yard line on the Cardinal side of the field. Quarterback John Thomas lining up behind center with two running backs set behind him at this point. You got to think Coach Kyle's going to want to run some, some clock. And it goes to number 21, Enzo Canada, and the Cardinals stuff him back to the line of scrimmage as they keyed on that run by number 21, Enzo Canada. 6.05 remaining in the game. It's going to bring up a second down and long for the Wildcats from the back again to the 28 yard line on the Cardinal side of the field. John Thomas setting up a quarterback behind center, two running backs behind him. Three receivers set. Cardinals been saying it over and over again, but they need another defensive stop. A lot of pressure on this defense here today. Taking a T.O. for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Coach Kyle calling a timeout. 538 remaining in the game. 19 to 6. Cats over the cards. Well, we led the game off in the first quarter. Minute 14, John Thomas had a pass to the standout receiver, Mike Saragusa, for a 64-yard 60 yard score. Extra point was no good. Connor Krasanzik in the end of that first quarter. Eight seconds had remained. A 70-yard touchdown run to tie the game. Iggy then ended up having a 21-yard field goal in the second quarter, followed by a late 17-yard touchdown to end the half. In the third quarter, 47-yard field goal by Matt Colella. Puts us where we stand right now at a 19-6 deficit for the Cards. Cardinals end up stopping that run by the Wildcats. About the 26-yard line is where we're going to have the 27-yard line is where we're going to spot the ball on the Cardinals side of the field for a third down and nine for the Wildcats with 519 remaining in the game. And his defense has got to be gassed at this point with as much time as they're spending on the field. But they've been coming up time after time with nice stops. Let's see if they could do it again. John Thomas looking down the field. He had a receiver in the middle, and he caught at the 15-yard line for the grab. That's Nick Fabian by the Wildcats on the catch. It's going to bring a first down and 10, four minutes 55 seconds remaining in the game. It appears Ignatius has got a hold on this game at 19 to 6. John Thomas lining up behind center this time. John Thomas is going to hands off, hand off to Enzo Canada, who's got some running room to the 10 yard line. 429 remaining in the game. Going to be a second down for the Ignatius Wildcats. Cardinals can hope for a turnover at this point. They're going to need that. 13-point deficit, 19 to 6 is the score. The Cats over the cards. John Thomas, receiver on the top and receiver on the bottom, two running backs. Hands it off to Enzo Canada. 10-yard line to about the seven yard line before going out of bounds. 350 remaining in the game. Wildcats are gonna be inside the red zone here. Second down situation. Third and one, take it back, that's a third and one, third and short. 
337 remaining on the clock. Another injury on the field. Ignatius player this time as their training staff comes out to tend to the injured player. Cardinals are going to need some luck on their side at this point to pull this game out with a 13 point deficit. 337 remaining in the game. Third and short for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Looking to even their record out at one and one. Ignatius actually had taken a 22 to six lead on a field goal by Matt Colella. Coach Kyle deciding to take the points off the board electing to run some clock and get the first down as they were in the red zone on that last drive which brought that score back to 19 to 6 keeping it at a two score differential 13 point difference between the two teams Ignatius players still on the field with the training staff tending to him still a strong mentor contingent here waiting to see how this game wraps up once again this evening just like in game number one Cardinals offense splitting time between the two quarterbacks Connor Krasanzik and Matt Eisworth the sophomore and the senior just a very tough opponent here this evening St. Ignatius Wildcats you knew they were coming in with a chip on their shoulder twofold after losing the first week of the season in the game that they had played up in Detroit and then also you know they wanted a revenge after the triple overtime loss that they suffered in last year's playoffs three minutes 37 seconds remaining in the game Wildcats coming on the field that injured player appears to be all right as he's walked to the sideline by their training staff John Thomas bringing it bringing his team back up to the five-yard line third and short Thomas is right behind center he's got a receiver to the top one to the bottom fullback running back set behind him Cardinals look for another another stop on the play and he hands the ball off stuffed by the Cardinals right back to the uh, to the line of scrimmage three minutes 13 seconds remaining in the game as the play clock keeps running down 305 and winding down fourth down for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Let's see what Chuck Kyle decides to do here. Quarterback, quarterback still on the field at this point. John Thomas, and they're going to go for it here. Fourth down and short. And they hand the ball off. Enzo Canada, number 21, is going to be close to the first down. 238 remaining in the game, 19 to 6 lead for the St. Ignatius Wildcats. First down for St. Ignatius. Going to place the ball around the three yard line on the Cardinal side of the field. So the Wildcats retain possession here with a 13 point lead as the clock is winding down. Two minutes, 30 seconds remaining in the game. Chuck Kyle may just be content to take a knee at this point. John Thomas hands off to number 21, Enzo Canada. Sweep to the right. He's headed to the end zone for the score. Touchdown for the Wildcats. It's going to be 25 to 6 is the now the score on the run by number 21, Enzo Canada. Cardinals have just had no solution for that running back in the second half here. Two minutes, 14 seconds remaining in the game as Matt Colella, number five, the senior kicker, comes on to attack the to attempt the extra point attempt. It appears both these teams are going to be evened up in one game apiece following this game here. Two minutes, 14 seconds. Matt Colella getting set to kick this extra point on through. 25 to six. We currently stand. It's up, and he kicks that extra point on through. 26 to six, 20 point lead now for the Wildcats over the Cardinals. Cardinals 
disappointing score to this point as the Cardinals find themselves down by 20 versus the St. Ignatius Wildcats. Well, the Cardinals are going to need some things to really roll their way if they're going to have any type of a chance here, but time may not be on their side as we're facing a two-minute, 14-second clock with the fourth quarter here and the remainder of the game. 20 points is the lead for the Cats over the Cards. Cardinals set back to receive the kickoff. Number 40, Eddie Doherty's going back there. Number 15, Brenda Parker once again set to receive the kick from Matt Colella. Going to be kicking off from the 40-yard line on the Ignatius side of the field. And as we found last year, Ignatius did beat the Cardinals in a regular season, but those teams met again and could be the same fate again this year. We know these are going to be two top teams in the area that we're going to see in the playoffs come the end of the season. These teams could be facing each other once again, and this time it'll be the Cardinals looking for revenge if they don't come back here with two minutes remaining in the game. Doherty running the ball to the 20-yard line. Close to the 25 is a nice run back by number 40, Eddie Doherty. Two minutes, six seconds remain in the game. 20-point deficit. Wildcats over the cards. Wildcats again, something to prove coming into this game. Battered and bruised with some big injuries going into the season, suffering an opening season loss last week as they played out of state. And of course, the, the big crushing victory for the Cardinals in the playoffs last year to, that sent the Wildcats packing in the playoffs in that triple overtime game. Wildcats, I'm sure, came here with a little bit of extra motivation to take it to the Cardinals and unfortunately the Cardinals find themselves down by 20 as we look at two minutes one second remaining in the game second down and long shotgun four receivers set and the handoff goes to the running back who's got a little bit of running room Eddie Doherty to the 40 yard line nice run by Eddie Doherty minute 55 remaining in the game for the first down for the Mentor Cardinals Matt Eisworth in a shotgun formation. Four receivers set. Running back to his left. Takes the snap, looking down the field, looking deep. He's got number number one, Brandon Fritz, he was looking for in coverage. And there's flags on the play. Minute 40 remaining in the game. 26-6. Wildcats over the Cardinals. Really have not seen a whole lot of passes going Brandon Fritz's way today. The senior wide receiver, one of the top receivers in the state, has not been targeted much today, and I'm sure the Wildcats have been making a point of, of keying on him as they have had tight coverage on number one most of the game. Penalty on the Wildcats. First down for the Cardinals, close to midfield, just shy of midfield. Minute 40 in the game, four receivers set. Matt Eisworth looking, he's got number one, Brandon Fritz. About the 42 yard line on the Ignatius side of the field. Minute 29 remaining in the game. A Little bit of chippiness going on here, back and forth between the two teams. It's two teams that have faced each other quite a bit over the past couple years, getting to know each other and getting really to dislike each other. 26 to 6. Wildcats over the Cardinals. Time is winding down. It's probably going to be some offsetting personal fouls on each side. Connor Krasanzik lining up in a wide out position here. Matt Eisworth in the shotgun formation. Four receivers set. First down for the Cardinals. 42 yard line on the Ignatius side of the field. Number three, Matt Eisworth. Set to receive the snap. Looking down the field. Under pressure, he's gonna have to run for it. 
40 to the 37 yard line brought down by the Wildcats a minute nine remaining in the game 26-6 Cardinals find them on the downside of the score here second down for the Cardinals as they set up on the 39 yard line on the Ignatius side of the field Three receivers on the near side, one on the top side. Matt Eisworth looking downfield. He's going to run for a short gain. Bringing up a third. 37 seconds remaining in the game. And both these teams are going to end up going to a one game and one, one win, one loss record. Both teams one and one. Still two, two of the top teams in the Northeastern Ohio area. 15 seconds is the clock running down. 10 seconds remaining in the game. <clears throat> Third down for the Cardinals. Five seconds. Matt Eisward looking downfield. He's got Brandon Fritz number one. Juggled the ball and his incomplete pass. Time has expired. That's the end of the ball game here. 26. St. Ignatius Wildcats over the Mentor Cardinals, 6. 26 to 6 is the final score. Game number two. Both teams go to 1 and 1 on a young season here. Pete Stark, Cardinal TV. Have a nice evening, folks.